One week after my college graduation, my dad got in a car accident and lost his memory. For the past 16 years, dad's amnesia has haunted my family. But we've never been able to talk about it until now. He did have a headache, but every day we went to work just like normal. He just kind of stared at me and, and didn't say much of anything. And then um, eventually he said, you know, I don't know who you are and I don't know who I am. That was about 16 years ago and he's never remembered anything. He just cried and cried because he knew something was wrong with him. And he said, is he ever going to come back, Mom? Is he ever going to come back? Is my daddy going to come back? Every doctor always said that there was, you know, if he really wanted to, he could get his memory back. So I think maybe, you know, he just didn't want to. anything. Nothing. Not a smell, not a sound, not a nothing. Or has he? Don't know. I didn't want to believe the man who'd raised me no longer existed. I've never seen anything. In fact, all the evidence that I've seen leads to the contrary, that there was no physical damage. How could all of his memories of our life together vanish just like that? Richard, 31591. I printed the whole alphabet today. It is my first time to do that after five weeks of lessons, two days each week. So what I can't figure out is how did he write this letter? I think the whole thing was nothing but an act. The whole thing never added up. People that tried to sit there and talk about it too much and think about it too much would try and figure out a way that it worked. There was some kind of stuff in the newspapers about that Savings and Loan he was working for was in some kind of trouble. Just remember that whether we agree with Richard's new life or not, he's still entitled to it. He's still entitled to peace and happiness. I asked Dad why his memory still hadn't returned. He replied, I'm the new Richard now. Not Dad. <laughs>